us here today, my friend? It's HD based T based television. That's correct. Well, basically, HD based T technology in general is everything going through this Cat5 as opposed to the HDMI cable. So you're going to have audio, video, audio return channel, 3D signals, audio, everything going through a single Cat5. And in the very near future, we're even going to be able to power the television with a Cat5 cable. And you can see here, HD base T is one of our input signals. That's correct, folks. And there you have it. Alright folks, I'm back again. Alexander Vincent over here at Infocom 2012. I'm going to be showing you today a Geffen Digital Signage Daisy Chain System. Now the beauty of this is you can go 100 meters in between each box. That's 330 feet. feet. Now you do the math. You can connect 100 TVs to this system with 100 meters between each. You can cover a vast distance with very minimal cabling. So basically you start from the source. You'll go HDMI into your first box. And with that first box, you can daisy chain. With Cat5, you can go 100 meters to the next box, and so on and so forth. So you can go, you can actually hook up 100 different TVs with this system. There's a PC based software that you can install, and you'll be able to view every single TV on there. You'll be able to turn the TVs on or off through the software. And not only are you doing HDMI signals through this, you can also do bi directional IR and RS232. Hi, I'm Oren Charm, and I'm here at the Geffen booth at the Infocom 2012 show in Las Vegas. And I've been talking to you about Geffen's new GAVA control system. And uh, the programming is very simple. Uh, we use uh, a web application uh, that gives you a choice of templates for your various system options. You can pick the template that matches your system design, and then just uh, enter the IP address for the PAX gateway that's controlling uh, your other equipment. Select your amplifier from a list of uh, drivers that are built into the GABA and select how it's controlled through the PAX. In this case, we're using RS-232.1 on the back of the PAX. Add your display. Again, choose from the list. Choose your control point and you can also add favorite channels from a list of icons. And then finally, add your other sources, uh, Blu-ray players, set-top boxes, iTunes, Apple TV, where we control them over the, uh, the network, just provide the IP address for the Apple TV and for the, uh, uh, the computer that's running iTunes and select how it's connected to the processor, click Add, Control, and Close, uh, select which interfaces you want to draw, click Confirm and Continue, and uh, GAPA will automatically create all of the, uh, the graphic user interface images, it will download all of the uh, IR codes to the packs, configure the RS-232 devices, uh, draw the interfaces for the various control products, in about 30 seconds, uh, you're ready to operate the system. You're ready to go. Here's your control system. You can select the TV. You can operate TV buttons like volume up and down. You can go to your disc player and you can select it. And your DVD will uh, begin to play, your Blu-ray. We can uh, for the iTunes, select iTunes, and then we bring up the iTunes app. Here's your cover art, your metadata, your track progress, and so on. A very simple system, easy to install, easy to program, uh, and easy to sell. Thank you. If you would like more information, please check us out at www.geffen.com.